Hey y'all! So I know that it has been a really long time that I didn't upload a DIY and this video is surely gonna be a DIY but before just going into the actual video I just have a lot a lot of things to say so the intro might be long so if you want to skip the intro go ahead but I'm just like saying all this just for you guys so first of all I reached a thousand subscribers that is like amazing like really amazing I am so happy that you guys are um, actually watching my videos and subscribe to my channel it just makes me want to make like more videos for you guys I'm just really happy and I just want to say thank you for all of you that are, that are subscribed to my channel the second thing I wanted to talk about was my channel name. You've probably noticed that my channel name, uh, I changed it to Back in Black and you're probably like, it's not even related to your channel. Um, honestly, I just picked that name because just for like, just for now, it's really temporary. I just chose that because, because I, it just like sounds, sounds good and I, I love wearing black. I guess everyone likes wearing black and also my hair used to be ombre and now it's like back in black so yeah so if you have any ideas just like comment down below anything um, I had in mind like some names but I feel like I'm not like a prof professional fashion thing I'm not even I, I don't even study in like fashion or anything so I don't know if I should change my name to like to those I have in mind like fa the fashion rack stuff like that but like I said I'm, I'm not professional I'm not I don't know much about fashion but I just love wearing clothes and making clothes so yeah just let me know in the, in the comments down below what do you think about that the third thing I wanted to talk about was their comments and I know that a lot of you guys have commented really really nice stuff on my videos and if you've commented something on one of my videos and you didn't receive a reply like it's basically impossible because I read every comment every comments that I get and I reply every each of them some some account um, are on private I think that's why I can't reply your comments but I replied in your inbox so for those of you guys that um, didn't receive a reply for your comment just check in your YouTube inbox and it's probably gonna be there so I really love reading your comments and it's it's just amazing it really makes my day it just shows me how like supportive you guys are so Thank you very much. So the fourth thing I wanted to talk about was was this video. Um, okay, so I want to start a series, and it's and I'm calling it Trash to Treasure, or you can call it T to T, Trash to Treasure. There are many like things that I want to make to put in that series, like thrifted hauls, how I style my thrifted finds and mostly thrifted transformations and if you don't know what it is well check out um Kulirpa, Kulirpa's channel i don't know if i'm saying it right she be, what she basically do, does is she, is that she buys some some clothes at the thrift store and she just trans, transforms it into something new and and better and that's what basically um all my diy's video videos were about but i just didn't come up with a, an, an ori a original an original name yet but now that i found the name trash to treasure i'm gonna be calling all those videos trash to treasure so yeah so that's the series trash to treasure um it's all about my th my th it's all about thrifting so today's video is just simply taking a really really big sh long sleeved shirt that I bought at a store and it is for men and but it was only like $5 I think and it is this one from Lucky Brand 
and the shirt is super long but i've cut it in two pieces before like thinking about filming the actual thing so it looks super short but the rest of it is like here so i'm gonna be showing you guys what i can do with these two pieces i thought about making a matching set but the thing is that this fabric like you can see through so you don't want anyone to see your panties so i'm not gonna make some shorts with this i'm just gonna make some some shirts so i hope you guys are gonna like um the, my new series trash to treasure make sure to thumbs up and comment if you guys actually like this idea and let's start Hey guys, so I'm just gonna wear the shirt just to show you guys how it looks on me. It is for men, so the shape is kind of is kind of awkward on me, and the sleeves are way too long. So what I'm gonna do is just make a simple tank tank top out of this. So the first thing I'm doing is just taking a. A tank um, the shape you actually want your top to be um, also I forgot to mention but make sure that the fabric not that it well it would be preferable if it's the same fabric but this is really not the same fabric but what I just want to compare is that this is a very stretchy and this also is a very stretchy so both are stretchy so so if I take this shape on that one it would be okay start off by placing the folded tank on the folded fabric and then trace out the tank leaving one inch for seam allowance then you're gonna pin the fabric all together so it won't slip when you're gonna be cutting the fabric then just cut the shape out now remove the pin and it should reveal the shape of a normal tank now place the shirt inside out, the fabric I mean inside out, and pin the sides, just like so. And then you're going to want to sew the two sides. Now you're going to um, cut off two stri strips of fabric. I used um, the leftovers from the sleeves. And you're going to pin the edges of those stri strips to the edges of the armholes, just like that. And you're gonna want to sew what you pinned so it should look like that and you're gonna fold the strips in two and then sew the edges so it should look like that and you're almost done all you need to do now is just hem the bottom of the shirt so this is the final look and I like it a lot but I think that you guys are gonna like the second one better so let's go hey guys so um now what am i going to do with the remaining fabric so it is it is quite big i'm just going to show you guys what it looks this is the biggest part and i can make a shirt out of it and this could just make the sleeves so what i've decided to do is um to make a shirt that i've always wanted but i I never bought it somehow, I don't know why, but it is the ribbed, the ribbed top from Topshop. This is probably the closest fabric that I can find in my house to the ribbed fabric that they use to do the ribbed top. So I'm just gonna go for it and we're gonna see how it looks like, so let's go. Fold the fabric in two and place on it the closest top you can find from the top from top shop. Now you're going to want to trace out that top leaving one inch but don't trace out the sleeves that's going to be in a separate part. Now I'm adjusting the neck since I want it to be higher and then cut out the shape and it should look like this. That would be doing the sleeves. Now I'm tracing out and cutting out the sleeves using my top as a template. But since this sleeve was a bit too short, I'm gonna make some but longer. But I'm using that same piece as a template. So this is one of the sleeves. 
to make the sleeves, you're going to want to pin one side and sew what you pinned. You're going to do the same thing for the other sides on both of the sleeves. This probably has to be the best part because this is when you see all your shirt coming together. So you're going to want to sew the um, shoulder edges and the sides like I'm showing. So sew those four sides. So the shirt is currently inside out so this is the wrong side but the sleeves are um, right side. So you're going to put the right side sleeve in the shirt and connect the edges of the sleeve to the armhole like I'm showing. So it's really important that the shirt is in the, his wrong side but the sleeve is in its right side. So now I'm pinning all the edges together. And when all the pinning is done, you're just going to sew what you pinned. And that's when you're going to see that the sleeves are appearing and it should look like that. Now I'm just cutting out a long strip of fabric using it to do the neckline. Then you're going to pin the edges of the fabric strip to the edges of the neck. When that's all pinned, you're going to gonna sew that. Now all you have to left to do is just fold the strip in two and just sew that all again. That's when the neckline is gonna appear. So you're pretty much done after this. So this is officially the final result. I love it so much. It looks exactly like the one I wanted um, in Topshop and I'm super happy. So hope you guys liked it. Hey, so I hope that you guys liked this video. I hope that you guys liked this first video of the series Trash to Treasure. I'm actually really proud proud with what I I was able to make with only one shirt. I made two shirts and this is actually a shirt that I have always wanted. So I'm really happy about that. So let me know in the comments down below what did you think about that. And also what do you think about my channel name. And if you have other ideas just comment down below. And I'm really happy for more than a thousand subscribers. I'm just overwhelmed and I just want to make more videos. So um, just... I just wanted to um, let you guys know what the fut my future videos will be about. Um, I am planning on to do some other Trash to Treasure transformations and also um, I want to start a series also. I don't know what name I should call it but for now it's only fashion challenges and basically what it is it's um, some challenges that I um, I give myself or, or that my <clears throat> my um, my friends give to me and and I just try to recreate what they want like um, for example I already have two in mind so the first one would be um, my sister she has a concert to um, to see the, the band ACDC and she wants a <clears throat> a top that can rep represent ACDC so that would be one of the fashion challenges and I will be filming it and showing it to you guys. I guess that I will see you next time. Bye guys! Okay, okay.